the normal one. Hi, and welcome to TFL Team Microcasters. Um, with, with me this week, uh, we, we've got Anna and Christian. And some scraplets. Rawr. Look at him. Look at him go. Look, he's so cute. Oh, how cute. Oh. Anyway. Yes, I, it is cute. See, In an aggressive, murderous way. Christian is trying to bring the Hasbro love into the show. You know, it's kind of like a bot bot. It's like too bot bot sized. Um, hey, so so Tony says that they're getting rid of the Cyberverse line. He said there was something about the Hasbro pledging to get rid of disposable plastics. <laughs> that was that Which one of you actually crafted that? Was that was that Tony or was that you, Lucas? No, no, that was me. I just saw his comment, so uh, that was actually decent, Lucas. That was really, really well constructed. You. Yeah, I always think of you as the one that doesn't make good jokes. Yeah, every, every once in a while. Oof. So. I think of myself as the one that makes the best jokes. So. Yeah, no, I did. I did love the uh, pictures earlier today, Anna, of uh, the little Insecticons. Oh yeah, I always make my ads. Or I always make the ads, and they're always <clears> dumb. <throat> they were Absolutely. about these guys tonight. So, yeah, so Anna has been annoyed because uh, we keep doing all this official Hasbro stuff. And so she says, you know what, we need to stop with this and we need to start getting in on some, you know, love for her third party legends. I never said Hasbro stuff was the problem. What I said is that it was a travesty to continue to to focus on repaints when we have beautiful brand new figures that we've never discussed any version of before that are just That's sitting on the shelf collecting all the dust but, but we have we too. have we have more repaints that we could be doing here <laughs> like look, you know, more repaints considering that we did a repaint show last week and our viewership was not zero i'm assuming that some people care and i'm okay with that I just right. feel that we need to talk about lovely things like these as well. Fine. Have we right. ever talked about a Legends figure that I haven't been happy with? Like, has that happened? Um, you know what? I feel like when we, you did your uh, Magic Square Optimus Prime, that it was not Oh, because the like... head was too small and I was really mad yeah, at it. that was what I was going to yeah. mention as well. That's true. Yeah, which it's is like... Because it was the... Magic Square. Right. When we talk about these guys, and when we eventually, in like six months, get around to this guy, ooh, I'll be very positive. Weeks. You made this the schedule. So pretty. I did make a schedule. I know. We'll get around to him. Don't see, worry. See, Randall. Randall's calling it that you're going to have your own spinoff show, uh, Anna. <laughs> With third-party toys and alcohol, so for some I, reason... I, I don't know about the alcohol, but the... Uh, it's required for me to get drunk while talking about third-party toys. Why not? So <laughs> what could that I, do for my image? I, thought, I, I assumed he was talking about uh, rubbing alcohol, the isopropyl for the siege figures. Like, you can sit there, like, on camera and try to rub the battle damage off your figures. I, I actually think that I've complained almost the least about the battle damage. Because I actually think it can be artistically cool on a lot of them. And, heck, I renamed a figure Banana Storm because of it. I did like that. I thought and after last week we could be done with that name. <laughs> I thought, Christian, I thought the done. day you're done with that name is the day that you're done with me. Wow. I will okay, follow you with that name to the ends of the earth. Or... I'm scared either way. Good job. I believe it's a threat. <laughs> no, it's a promise. So let's so get the work. Let's so, right, so what are you doing tonight? So, so, so tonight there... we're doing the New Age Insecticons. Uh, I don't know. What are their names? I can't even remember. Uh, so what do they do with the packaging? B name and a C name. <laughs> 
know what you, you guys came well prepared for this episode. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. yeah. So the other guys. Yeah. Can you ever remember the actual third party names though? I mean, come on. Yeah. But I'm crazy. There's only one person on the show that's crazier than I am, so it's all right. That's right. And we know why, because there's only one person on this show who... Not, not this show. Oh, see, I was going to say there's only one person on the show who can just hold up yarn randomly during the podcast. About, there's only one person within the network that's crazier than I am. Oh, okay. So let's get them to talk about these guys. Um, which one of the three do you want to talk about first, Lucas? Uh, Actually... Yeah. Christian, which one of the three do you want us to talk about first? Bombshell. Bombshell. He was always my favorite one. That's uh, that's this one, right? Yep. Good job. Uh, 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 jokes. Oh, I'm bad tonight. <laughs> All right. So my bombshell is your bombshell in robot mode or um? Bug All mode? of my insecticons are starting in robot mode. Because I figured you would start in alt mode. Or, I'm sorry, in alt mode, I mean, bug mode. That's, that, it's really funny, because I was just staring. I actually looked at your screen. I was like, they're all sitting there in bug mode. And he's saying out loud, they're in robot mode. <laughs> yeah, That's it's a little, rough, a little rough tonight, right. I guess. So, mine is actually in bug mode as well, which is funny, because we always plan these things very carefully, as you can tell. I um, can put them in. But you know what? You start working on that. I'll keep talking. So we can start talking about the insect mode. And what I'm going to say about these insect modes is they are super small. Right? Like, these are really, really tiny figures. Um, there's nothing big about these guys whatsoever. They're still bigger than the actual bugs they are for the most part. But, I mean, they are, you know, the smallest fully featured Insecticons I've seen. Like, you can make, like, a little statue of Insecticon that's smaller, but they're the smallest fully featured ones. I will say, though, that in general, I'm personally not that impressed with the um, with the alt modes, with the bug modes. Um, they're okay. I think, I think Bombshells would be the best if it wasn't for his excessively long um, tool beak thing. I like to call it a proboscis, but it's so long, it's like a, I don't know. It's very long. Um, it worked very good for my picture from eating a tomato earlier, but it. I, um, you know, funny enough. So um, I watch reviews of these guys ahead of time, and I wasn't as impressed with the reviews. But in hand, I'm actually a lot more impressed by their alt modes than I thought they would. Um, or their bug so what I was going to say is that they're about average for Insecticon toys. Like, a lot of the Insecticon toys are either, like, deluxe size or masterpiece size. And these alt modes are pretty much par for the course. Like, their alt modes have never really been, like, spectacular anyway. So, they, they capture the overall image pretty well. Um, and Insecticons were pretty small in G1, Tony. They were definitely much, much bigger than this. Um, Here, let me grab, like, I can grab a G1 one. Yeah, perfect. They were... They were bigger, but they were they were definitely very small. So, like I was saying, you know, as far as how it looks in this mode, it's pretty much what you would expect from New Age as far as, like, detail and color. You know, all the paints there that should be, all the colors there that shouldn't be. Um, the proboscis accessory, as I call it, um, comes out and can be his weapon in robot mode. And overall, you know, he captures, he's a beetle thing, right? That's, that's what we think he is as a bug. Beetle a thing. Rhinoceros beetle. Perfect. Rhinoceros beetle. That's like an actual specific beetle. Perfect. So, um, yeah. yeah, he captures beetle naming pretty well. Um, I was really hoping that I would have time for this um, week's ad to go outside and find an actual beetle and the other two bugs to compare them to. But, you know, I didn't take that much time. Surprise, G1 Insecticons are not realistic to the animals they are based on. Surprise. They're robotic bug thingies. Well, that's perfectly fine. You know, he has individual little legs. He doesn't really move except for the proboscis in this mode. And it's all fun enough. Yeah, I don't I don't know. So, like, scale chart-wise, I don't know if I pull out the official holy scale chart, whether or not they're, uh, what, what, who they lined up with. Do, do we know? I haven't tried. 
In bug mode? Uh, in bug well, mode? just in just in either mode. Were they like about the size of the mini bots? I think. I think they're between the mini bots and the Autobot cars. Yeah. Although maybe shrapnel's antenna and bot mode that throw me off on that one. I think that's not too far off. Yeah. I, think I don't think they had like Autobot equivalents. I think they were the only things of their size. Yeah. So you get to later, like the clones, maybe. Yeah, they weren't huge. They weren't tiny, but um, these are definitely tiny. These are tiny. Maybe the, the throttle bots, maybe that kind of size. Bigger than mini bots. Dakota might be right. They might be about the same size as the reflector guys. I think that feels mm. right. Yeah, Dakota, Dakota, Dakota was saying he thought bot, Reflector right? and the Bugs were about the same size. It's funny that we always talk about size and like the cartoon and everything on the show, and I have not watched an episode of the cartoon in a really long time at this point. I, I plowed through G1 with um, my oldest like several years ago, and I, I need really need to go back and rewatch all of it with yeah with all of them but so yeah anyway like as you can see from the amount of time it took me to actually transform it it's pretty simple and that's what i find interesting about these guys because honestly like i do i own every new age release that's sad i do own every new age release i say Uh, it like that because i actually don't like most of them but um i actually know i just like one sixth or one third of them it comes out because i like all their mini bots and these are mini bots um, so like the recent new age releases, like, you know, we'll eventually talk about the iron hide and ratchet on the show, um, have been really complicated actually. Like their, their transformations are a lot of steps. They're really complex and they kind of almost feel like they're trying to go for mimicking the MP versions of the toys. Whereas these guys really remind me of the generations figures, like in the way they transform and the complexity and a little bit in the articulation. They're a little better. You know, they have wrist swivel and ankle tilt <laughs> at this size, which is crazy. Um, but they really do remind me of them. As far as well, like aesthetics, I, you know, he pulls up G1 really well. I, I, I think, though, like, if you actually, put, uh, you know, grab the Generations figures, like, these are actually quite a bit better. Um, because, better. I mean, like, if you're looking at these guys, uh, you know, like, in the front like you know they're about the same right but like i mean obviously there's all kinds of waffles and hollows and all that um in the generation figure and you know there's no ankle tilt uh there's no wrist swivel like all and not all of these guys have wrist swivel but like i know bombshell does um and i mean i think especially for the size like I mean, these guys are just insane. I mean, they really invoke the the G one look. I think in in both modes. And they the uh, G one looks super well. <clears throat> yeah, I I mean, I'm really impressed with these. Like, I'm trying to think as far as the new. Like, I feel like every new age figure that comes out impresses me more. Ratchet non withstanding. Like, I, I do have some issues with the ratchet. We'll get to that. Like it you know, later on, or I another. cannot wait to talk about that because it's <clears> the <throat> one time that you didn't like the figure that much. And I think it is fantastic. I, it's I've, I've warmed up to the figure, but, but these yeah. guys are great. Like I, I like honestly, but I, I think too, again, just having many like figures this small that are this articulated, like is just insane. And that's the thing. Like, you know, I never thought even like, two years ago when we already had like really good toys on the shelf, you know, there were, there were options to get really nice toys. You know, MMC was putting out really good stuff. Fans project put out really good stuff that I like a lot. Um, and even the mainline toys and the masterpiece figures were really fancy. I did not expect that I would eventually get a figure that is, you know, barely over one um, segment of my thumb in height and is this nice looking. You know, like the amount of detail it has, there are not that many toys that I own that are not considered like MP-esque that have more detail than these guys. Like they are just really good. And even the faces, like they, New Age puts a lot of work into their faces. He's got his good little angry, the shredder looking face. 
Well, yeah, and, and, and that's the thing is, is like, I mean, there's a fair amount of paint on these guys, you know, I mean, yeah. there's, uh, you know, the chest has paint. You know, there's their the eyes are painted. Um, like even on the back, like this is painted right back here. So I mean, I don't uh, the little on the legs, like you can see, there's little spots here that are um, are painted. So it's I don't know. I, I'm just impressed by how much detail again went into these guys because I, I don't think that at the scale that we've gotten that you know it's it's crazy like the articulation the um you know just the amount of care the engineering and all that is it's nuts yeah i find them really impressive and what's kind of fun about these guys and i'm going to see the same thing when we eventually get to the um magic square cosmos is that in some ways, like, I feel like if you stood these up with some of your larger scaled figures, like if you weren't a Legends collector and you just wanted really small Insecticons for funsies, um, they would look great with your really, with your larger figures. You know, they're almost, they're almost like MicroMaster size. And they oh, just... no, they, they absolutely are MicroMaster size, Anna. Here, let MicroMaster for scale. So, there you go. I get rid of all my microvasters, so I don't know. I'm waiting for it to show up in the in the delay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's funny because just so the viewers know, in the way we have this set up on Skype, Lucas doesn't show his toy cam, and um, oh yeah, yeah. So you have the to wait video for the... the video on Facebook is always a few seconds behind. Yeah, you're right. He's can, just a little bit actually... bigger microvaster. That's great. I don't know if I can feed my, I, we'll figure that out for another day. Maybe someday. Um, whether it's or not important. I can actually feed that into Skype too. I, I don't so know. So who's next? Technology. Christian. Do kickback. He's my least favorite. Oh, poor kickback. I don't like the way his wings are positioned on his body. I agree with that because every, so every time I've seen a kickback toy, in robot mode, my entire lifetime collecting, I want to just pick it up and fix its wings. I want to put them somewhere else. And I get them, I rotate them, and they don't look good anywhere. And, like, my G1 figure never had his wings up like they were supposed to be. They were always down, just in his armpits, because for some reason that was better to me. So I feel Slightly like better. Yeah, it, it doesn't help. Well, this one has a gun butt. That's interesting. So, so the one thing I will say, though, is I do enjoy that there's weapon storage on these figures, whereas, like, a lot of the other New Age uh, figures don't. And the, they have these freaking tiny weapons. It's like, what do you do with all this junk? Like, for um, like if, say, if, if for whatever reason they decide to display your stuff in car mode, it's like you have, like, a little baggie of parts. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Um. As far as, like, how this one looks, I think, funny, contrary to what Christian just says, I think this is probably the most fun-looking alt mode out of the three of these. And I always think Kickback is the most fun alt mode. Not robot mode, alt mode. Um, maybe it's just, like, it's a fun little bug um, or whatever. I'm not really sure why I like it. Um, even looking at it, he's supposed to be a grasshopper, is that right? Is that what he is? Yep. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Oops. I'm not really good with animals, so if you want to be like poetic about it, you could be a locust. Okay, great. He's a locust now today. So, so the alt mode is a little bit weird because it's you know pretty much his arms holding a gun, kind of in in the alt mode. I mean, it, it does yeah, look a you. little odd. Cool it doesn't look up. it doesn't look bad from like the side, like. I mean, it looks a little weird. But I mean, of course, like when you have it posed in what, pictures and stuff, you're probably not going to have it so that, you know, so that you can see that. Yeah. So even though it does have weapon storage, it honestly would probably look better without holding that gun back there. Just tuck the arms away and not put the gun back there. But, you know, this is the way it's intended to be. I like so, it, though. I think it's cute. It's tiny. And, you know, again, this is itty bitty. So one thing that I will uh, say is is that I am absolutely excited to have a kickback 
that I can transform without breaking. Um, because unlike the fans toys that is God, I don't even know how much that goes for now. Um, probably like several hundred dollars for each one. We do. And, and, uh, the kickback, like you can't really transform it without the darn, um, uh, without the wings breaking. I mean, you can, you just have to be extremely careful. That's a tragedy. Cause those yeah. things are excessively expensive. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. When I see them, I think they look really good, but they're just very expensive. But yeah, like, I mean, I think that these, like the thing that impresses me too is, is that the, uh, robot modes are, are very clean. Um, like their, their little insect legs, um, you know, fold into their chest cavity or, yeah. or whatever. Um, so like they don't have their, their insect blades aren't as big and, and they definitely prioritize the robot mode over the alt mode. But I mean, it's still, it's still definitely passable. Um, and I know that new age specifically mentioned on this, that I think they used a little bit different kind of plastic. Like I think on the wings and whatnot, they used, um, it's not quite to magic square level, but it's definitely like a little more uh, bendable, pliable, uh, so that you don't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah. I think he's a good one to, you know, just like in robot mode, you know, you hold him up and everything that's wrong with what Christian says about kickbacks in general with the wings just sticking up there, it's right there for you. I like those better than any kickback I've seen because they're smaller wings. Because they're smaller wings. Yep. Because he's a smaller figure, so it all feels better. I feel the exact same way about this one. Um, and I will say, like, an interesting thing that came out with him that is animation accurate is that his head is massive compared to other Legends figures. Like, he just has a really big head. Like, even if you put him up to his friend here. You know, his head's a lot bigger than Bob's Shield's head. And looking back at the animation, like, that's accurate. His head's really big <laughs> for some reason. Um, now, I will say, like, he doesn't have her swivel, um, which is fine. Yeah. He still has, he has ball-jointed ankles, so they're not, like, perfect ankle tilt, but they do a decent job of it. Um, I honestly play with these guys and put them into some silly poses. Um, you know, with three of them, you can do all sorts of super sentai poses or whatever you want to do, um, with them. And yeah, they pose super well. Like, even though they're so teeny tiny, he has waist swivel. Um, the wings do not move in this mode, which is different than like the G1 figure because you can still get him to swing. But here it is static because of the way he transforms. But that actually is what helps him be really clean in both modes. So you know, I think he's great. <laughs> so, so one thing I'm curious about though, Anna is, is like, I know in, in earlier pictures, you said that you didn't really like the, some of the proportions of these guys, like that you thought that the upper arms were too small, uh, compared to the, the rest of the body and all that. Now that you have this in hand, what do you think? <laughs> I think that everything about these lo is better looking in hand than it was in pictures. And I'm hoping that by sharing them on video tonight, we're helping circumvent some of that because I feel like in pictures, yes, their proportions look weird. In person, they look great. Like, I have no complaints about their proportions. Well, um, I, I think, again, part of it is is they're just so small. So, like, I think when you're, when you're looking at pictures and they're, like, blown up, it's like in, you know, you almost are comparing them to the masterpiece. And I know when we originally saw pictures, like I was thinking, I was like, Oh, like why is someone sharing like the mastermind creations bugs? And it's like, Oh wait, no, this is actually, you know, these things are, are tiny compared to those. They're actually really similar to the MMC bugs, which, you know, I know a lot of people say like, I want better bugs after getting those, but no one can say they're bad. There's nothing wrong with those guys. And getting something that's very similar at this size is super cool to me, at least. Um, and one thing I want to say that we haven't mentioned yet is that um, as of this recording, there is a second version of these already available. Is there two more versions? 
Well, okay, so there's another one available. So there's the tune version available where uh, right. the black is gray is is more of a grayish black, and then um, the bombshell is is uh, has a gray chest, and then um, they are also coming out with a clear version. Oh, okay, yeah, the clear version too. Yeah, I hate so clear version. So the thing I'm hoping that they haven't announced yet is I want a clear chest version. Uh, with with the black, so that it's a little more toy accurate. Um, but they haven't announced it yet. But I mean, it has to be coming. I mean, come on, like this is New Age. They do like twenty repaints. Every possibility. So yeah. can I get Diaclone repaints of them? I guarantee you, there will be Diaclone. They'll repaints. do it. This is if again. Like exercise, maybe I'll grab a set for that. You could finally yeah. convert me. Like yeah, literally right. every every new age release like has like minimum five repaints. Oh yeah, absolutely. They will be there and they will be fun. Um, honestly, like I will say that the differences between these and the um, comic slash cartoon version that is also out is very subtle. Like there's nothing jarring other than the difference in the gray color and. I think the toy colors actually look a lot better because you get the nice contrast of the black and then the metallic silver. So I like that better. But I, I, I should have shared a picture. Someone actually had uh, them all in hand <coughs> uh, on TFW, and and they actually showed and it. Actually, there was a little uh, a fair amount of difference in the color of the like the black, like the, like essentially the black on these figures is much more grayish. But honestly. The um, to me, the new versions just look like they were left out in the rain for a couple days. Right. I mean, I prefer these myself. I'm happy that I got these over the cartoon versions or whatever. But I don't know. I mean, I still, I I kind of almost wanted, you know, uh, what you might call like get it like a swarm going of these. Like, if I can find some like a cheap Chinese seller or something like that, like you know, like it is so tempting. Because like, you know New Age is going to put out enough versions that you wouldn't have to have the exact same ones. You could probably have, you know, five different sets, giving you a total of 15 Insecticons for a nice swarm with subtle differences. Yeah, but the tough the thing is, is gray these ones. are, I, like, I don't know, how much is the U.S. retail? Is it 65 I think, for these? I think if you order it from someone who you can get free shipping from, you're at about 65 from the sellers that do charge shipping from China, they're averaging like early to mid fifties, so like fifty three to fifty five plus shipping. Yeah, oh. and, and and honestly, like I feel like with these guys, I would actually highly recommend um, ordering from some like trusted Asian sellers. Um, like, don't just order from anyone, but um, yeah. you can get a, a pretty big discount on uh, the new age stuff and the magic square stuff both if you order from guys like um like on ebay like i think baba has these or net i know netcloud does um and then um like the uh, terry's tf club and uh like we usually get our stuff from robo, robo toy base uh as well because usually like anna and i'll like split an order and will uh you know kind of combine shipping or whatever yeah and it's pretty fair if you do it that way right. um yeah so these guys aren't super cheap i mean they're coming to about you know roughly 20 dollars a figure but it's like you know i think i've mentioned before before i started collecting fancy transformers i dabbled in figma a little bit right so i have like a few figma here and there um, upstairs and you know those things are very small figures for about $60 each that you almost never feel disappointed in because they're so nice and I feel like these are the same kind of deal it's like yes I paid $20 each for tiny tiny figures but there's no disappointment yeah and you know honestly I, pr I wouldn't mind having a discussion sometime on, on TFYLP you know just kind of talking about Siege um, in, in general because I know for myself that like I've been so impressed by Siege. I know Christian, like we've kind of had some of these talks that it's like, do we need third party? Like, I mean, yeah, third party's better, um, but like 
I don't know. Some days I'm like, you know, is Siege good enough? Eh, not compared to know. these for me, but it's, it's, you guys it's can hard to it say. Out. It's hard to say. I mean, I think if you want G1 accuracy, like if you want a, a small scale G1 accurate figure, like this is the way to go. Like hands down. Um, I think, you know, some of the Siege figures are hitting that a little bit, but I mean, there's enough differences that, you know, I, anyway. So we have one more buggle, one more. right? One more. So you have the insect mode out. I do not. And it's, it's kind of annoying that I can't get him to like, just kind of sit down like this. Like he wants to you know, kind of go back a little bit. Is so that's a bummer. But this guy, he on? does not sit flat in insect mode. Like, he's the one... Like, I think I ended up balancing his um, pincers on the tomato in that picture I made so that he could actually, like, not fall over. Because he always just tips over just a little bit, like Lucas says those right now, just a little bit backwards. Um, and that's how he sets, unfortunately. The other two sit flat, like they're standing on their legs. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah, because you can't really. There's like no way to do it, really. So I mean, it's it's whatever. Like I feel like again that most of like most of these figures, like I'd rather the alt mode uh, or the robot mode be the, you know, the the good mode because that's you know what mode it's going to be in most of the time for me. But and that one is the worst alt mode. Um, someone asked. Glenn asked in the chat if they had little wheels in their bug no. feet. They do not. Uh, there are no little yeah, wheels in their bug feet. No, no wheels. It's just a little indentation. Yeah. Yeah, the feet or legs are actually very simple in the bug modes. Like, they, they suffice, but they're very simple. Um, so, yeah, I would say this one is actually the worst of the three alt modes. And that's honestly, like... A, of the, the original three insects, I kind of think he's the worst alt mode anyway. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that kind of annoys me a little bit is, is like, on the alt mode that you can, like, the legs are just kind of split apart. And I'm having yeah. trouble focusing. But you can kind of see the gray of his, like, legs through the sides or whatever. So, I mean, it, it looks a little bit janky, like, if you're looking at it up close. Like, again, I think if... Most of us are not going to be looking at it that close most of the time. No. You know. And that gun stores in a really dumb place on him. Yeah. <laughs> on the back of his foot doesn't look good. But you know what? There's still storage, so I'll give him that. There's still least. storage. You should give him that. I agree with you. So the um, one thing that actually really impresses me about this figure is is the fact that they had a little extra part that they put over to put over his face. So, like, when you transform him, like, in his chest, like, this folds into the chest. And they didn't have to do that. Like, they could have just been, like, turn his head around and, like, there you go, you know. Um, so, I was actually somewhat impressed that they actually engineered a little a little chest into, um, you know, to, to cover up the face. I agree, because I was actually, I the first time I finished transforming it, I was satisfied without pulling that part out. I was like, oh, I'm done. He looks okay, whatever. And then I looked over at the box, and I was like, wait, he has a, oh my goodness, his chest opens up, and here's a thingy. That's cool. And it was just a nice little bonus to actually get to complete the figure in a way that I was actually happy enough without. Yeah. Um, so yeah, same as the other two. I mean, the colors are all there. Um, what details it needs are there. I mean, I, I do feel like that these figures are all really fun. Like, they're fun to transform and mess with. I like, guess the one thing I really like about New Age, and, and Magic Square is kind of the same way, too, where they have these really neat, interesting transformations, um, you know, to for, for Legends figures. Like, I, like I always kind of feel like Iron Factory, like, overall, like, I kind of like the look and paint and and whatnot details of some of them, but like their their transformations aren't as great. Um, I agree with that. A lot of their alt modes are not as good either, but like these have some like interesting parts on them. Mm -hmm. Like you have to flip. I agree the, with that. You have to flip the leg over to in order to transform. Yeah, no, they do have those weird flippy parts that you don't really see in retail figures. That's pretty unique to these guys. I like it. 
You see that even more in the Magic Square stuff than you do on New Age. Right. Like, I, I feel like in general that the New Age stuff is more fun. Um, for me, at least. I don't know. I mean, I guess your mileage may vary. Everybody's different. but I disagree 100%. Like, I... <laughs> I think the Magic Square figures are more fun, but that's okay. We're under age tonight, and I do like these guys. So here's his robot mode, and again, you know, all the color you need is there. Um, all the articulation, it's mostly ball joints, but it's very functional ball joints. Like, he gets good articulation. Um, ankles are, again, on a ball. They still tilt. Um, head turns, but doesn't tilt, and wrists do not swivel. Um, I think, uh, yeah, they all have a form of waist swivel so it's the lower part where you're actually gravity is crashed to swivel it but um it's fine so yeah um i think this one also looks really really good in robot mode it's funny the contrast because this is the smallest head and the biggest head but they all have nice faces you know what one thing i kind of wasn't even thinking about the fact that all of these figures have waist swivel like how, like, how insane, how, how far have we come, you know, right, where in, in 2019, like, figures that are three inches tall, like, have race, waist swivel, all this articulation, like, there's masterpiece figures that don't have waist swivel, like, uh-huh. uh, Shockwave and Ultra Magnus, neither one have waist swivel. Uh, it's very true. These are more playable. These are more fun. And I honestly think they hit the G1 look almost as good as Masterpiece. I have not made the decision to ditch my Masterpiece figures and go straight Legends yet, but I think about it a lot because I really think that I'm about in the same positive shape I am with the Masterpiece figures as I am with these guys. I think once Megatron and Starscream come out, it's going to be hard. Yeah, and we've got two pretty good-looking Megatrons coming out, too. We do. We do. I don't know which one I like better. That's going to be a tough decision. That's going to be a really tough decision. So, yeah, um, I think that's everything about these guys. Um, we didn't really, like, talk about their weapons, but their weapons are fine. They're as detailed as they usually are. One thing I will say about weapon accessories is that I actually like them better, even though they're really easy to lose on the tiny figures. Because when you – it's always been a disappointment for me to get something that's, like, a big mp size figure – and then you get this weapon that is just a solid plastic chunk with no color, no detail, no anything. Whereas when it's this small and it's just a solid one, you know, it's, this gun is just silver. It's fine. Like, it doesn't bother me as much as it does when I get my MP figure and it's like you get a silver chunk. So, yeah. Um, final thoughts, I guess. What, what do you think, Christian, since you've seen us talk about these guys? I think they might be fun for a repaint set. Um, I'm good with my, uh, what are they called, Prime Wars Insecticons. I'm good with them. But, you know, to get Shot Hole, Zap Trap, and Salvo, you know, maybe I could consider these guys. And and see, that's the thing I think that's great with New Ages is that all the repaints that they are doing, um, that there's something for everybody. And so a lot of people, I think, that might be going Magic Square for their, like, main legend figure but then it's like all right if they release a clear version then they release a diaclone version they release a deluxe insecticon version and they release just some other kind of crazy set like whatever something's gonna get you know one of those sets you know is gonna get you because these guys do not capture the like flat sunbow colors quite as well as the magic square plastic but i mean they still look really good I'm fine with these being my Insecticons. Like, I'm going to get rid of all my other ones. Yeah, I personally, I, I like the New Age figures for the smaller figures better. Um, and then, like, I like the Magic Square for, like, the Voyager class figures. So, like, that's kind of where I'm, I've am i been going. I think that's fair. So, but, but yeah, fair? no, I... Um, man... It's hard to say if these are my, I don't know. I, I feel like every single new age figure that's been released for the most part has been really good. So I, I would have a hard time saying, Oh, that I really like this better than prowl or that I like it better than jazz. 
or uh, or whatever. So because they've all, I, I've really enjoyed all of them. I can um, easily say I like these better than Prowl and Jazz. Very easily. Um, I like them the same as Bumblebee. I think that Bumblebee mold is just fantastic. I actually, I mean, I have an upscale version of it that I think is better just because it, the and it's, but that's kind of a testament to new age though, is that when someone took it and blew it up to like almost a lux size, it still looks phenomenal, right? Like it holds up, like it stands up next to my like fancier figures and looks really good. Even when you've blown up a legend scale figure. And I think if you took these guys and you blew them up to G1 Insecticon size, they would still look good. Like they wouldn't look bad. They would just be bigger. That might tempt me. Yeah, I, I think they can be very tempting at different sizes. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what's impressive about these guys. I will say, though, I really think um, next time we talk Legends, we'll be talking about it. But I think that Van Mold is probably my favorite New Age figure. Which is so funny. It's like his, it's like his least favorite. I don't know. It, I, again, I'm, I'm warming up to it. Um, we'll get there. Yeah. But, but yeah, so I guess overall we're both it's it's a strong recommend from I guess from both of us, right? So very strong. Yep. Yeah. So. For just about everybody too, because I really I like I think if you set these in your regular size collection, like if you were a chug collector, they wouldn't look bad. And if you wanted to have like tiny little insecticons like cassette size that attacked your uh, masterpiece figures. That would be fun too. And they would actually look good on that shelf. They wouldn't look, you wouldn't be like, ooh, you put crap toys with your MP. You'd be like, ooh, you put little tiny well, MP men with your MPs. D- Dakota earlier in the chat was mentioning um, that he thinks these would scale great with Metroplex. And I 100% agree. Like, I think that these would be wonderful for a city bot display. Have you seen my display lately? <laughs> I'll have to take a picture of it later and, and say, post that to our page. There you go. That is what my display is. I have them set up with Metroplex and um, Trypticon on like either side and then Legends figures everywhere. And it's a cute little display. I want to get some like terrain for it though. Like, you know, Dirt World or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Um, all right. Yeah. So we're happy with them and we're happy with all of you. Thank you for viewing. Paul. Yep. And uh, tomorrow night we've got uh, Ouch My Wallet is going uh, – we're going to do a live uh, show. I think it's going to be at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern, but we'll double-check. It may be an hour earlier or so. We'll, we'll post tomorrow on the page uh, what time that's going to be at. And uh, I think that's it. We're going to have live TFLP on Sunday as well. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I guess that's it. All right. So Christian, you got anything I'll before we leave? Tuesday. I do not. All right. See you, everyone.